Hello everybody, this is Ryan with Feeds, Strong's Game Show, and this is a new Let's Play. Don't worry, this will overshadow Spyro or Aria of Sorrow. This is Sail Out Mirage, Repro a reprogrammed hope. Now many people are going to say, oh, why aren't you doing the Japanese version? If I could have gotten the music to work on that version, I would have played it. But since, I'll, I'll go with this one. I loaded the game and then got all the options. Um, I'm not going to do anything like loaded or anything like that, but it, but it is going to be a normal. And I'm going to try and go for a no death run. And since levels, well, when, whenever you transition into a level, you don't regain your health, or I think it's called soul spirit in this game. You have to be very careful with every movement you make. There are shops around the way, but still, be careful. Now, before we officially begin, I'll be right back. Let's go. Overall, before we begin, I'm going to say that this is a very fun and quirky game, with, and it can be challenging. It's, it is a great system of combat, and I really think it's innovative. And there needs to be more like it, or at least remake this one. I don't care. But the combat system goes down to this. You have two sides, Silo and Mirage, are red and blue. Each enemy is also color-coded in the same way. Which means, if they shoot me and I'm red, I'll take less damage. But if I shoot them in blue, well, they'll be able to hit me and hurt me. So you gotta weigh out the balances. Whether to get hit, or to take less damage. Which, sometimes you might need to switch. Shithead. Get back here, come on. Just die, come on. Did I get the money? Yep. I didn't hit him first. There we go. Now we can proceed. Just get out. And that works too. Um, there's nothing in the shop of interest. Come on, shoot me. Just kind of jump slightly and then it, and then keep deflecting. The voices are very annoying though. Oh shit! Oh, that's a first. And we're pretty decent on the health. Could be making too many more mistakes like that. It's two big robots. Okay. Let's not save. And boom! Okay. We got our next set of enemies. These guys. They're weak to red, because duh. And they're jack-o'-lantern people. This pretty much explains it that they're weak to... yeah. Oh shit, I'm taking too much damage. Shit! Oh yeah, I gotta be the same color in order to deflect it. Come on, shoot me. Pretty much it. Let's keep going. Do I need... Okay. Okay. Come on. Nope, oh, time to make us escape. Oh shit. Let's 
keep on reflecting. Hmm. Come on. There we go. Good job. I think we got our first boss. Ha! Looks like you really screwed up, baby. You have stumbled into um, my messed up little world. And we're on the attack. When we get to your shelter ahead, we'll infiltrate it like you ain't never seen. And smash that puny little messenger to the bloody pulp. The only messenger of destruction around these parts. All than me, eh, love? A lizard is going to smash the messenger of destruction? Who is the messenger of destruction? And why would a lip-licking reptile want to kill it? You don't get it, do ya, honey? If this were a success, Mr. Big Shot, Megiddo gonna be righteously humiliated. Ha, ha, ha. But we can't have you running back and warning anyone in the shelter. Now can we, lovey? So I'm giving... Guessing I'll be taking this opportunity to wish you luck in the hereafter then. Because that's where you're going to go, dear. Ha ha ha. I can't imitate that voice. And that was close. Pretty much just hit him with red. Come on. Boom! I could have did that a little bit better, but I didn't, so yeah. Okay, new target. Whenever he does this, try and jump, because you'll take a lot less damage, and you won't take take the chance of getting hit. Except sometimes when you get floored next to a wall. Boom. Pretty much it. It's all good. Been pretty good, huh? No, we aren't saving. Let's go. I know for sure that there's something over here, but shopkeeper, I think. Yep. We just need to restore all our health. Let's go. Bum 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 bum. Should be way in the back. I need this one. No, 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 no. No. Buy it. We got full HP. Hmm. I must say that I expected the messenger of distraction to be somewhat more imposing figure, yes? Destruction is such a strong word, yes? And, well, you seem to be the manifestation and uh, manifest antithesis of strength, hmm? I don't know about any messenger of destruction, but I am the messenger of justice. My task is to return order to this world. I must warn you not to impede my advance. I have been charged to let nothing stop me from my mission. Hmm, I must admit that a warning from the messenger of destruction is quite an unexpected courtesy, yes? But regardless of who you claim to be, I have been charged by Hal with the task of eliminating you. It's really nothing personal, hmm? Come on, asshat. I'm gonna beat the shit out of you. Come on. Yeah. No, 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 I hate that shit. Okay. Just get up over here. You're not gonna get hit. Run, run, run. Asshole. Okay. Enemy 
I'm on. Boom! Fairly good. I really enjoyed that. I'm surprised at the resilient nature of your composition, messenger. Yes. You have foiled my effort to fulfill Hell's derogative. Hmm? This is a most confusing circumstance. Yes. Hmm? Oh shit. Oh dear. It's so hard. Yes. Can this area get any worse? Hmm? I gotta make up a voice for her? Or it? I don't even know. Is that a girl or a guy? I thought it was a girl. I thought he was... I don't know. Sigh. Another one of Hal's wretched lackeys making my life far more difficult than it need to be. But I suppose I can take consolation in the fact that my life is nowhere near as pathetic and painful as your miserable existence is about to become. What? What do you mean, hmm? How dare you insult Hal, hmm? Hal is responsible for our success and salvation, yes? You are a spiteful ingrate, yes? You're right, actually. I apologize. I really should be quite grateful for your dim-witted, bumbling efforts. But you see, your failure has put me in a position where I can annihilate both Gehina and this little messenger with the barest minimum of effort. You may have destroyed the shelter, but don't count on destroying me as easily. As a messenger of justice, I've been created to accomplish my mission at whatever cost necessary. To ensure my mission objectives are accomplished, I've been equipped with an arsenal that should impress even you, Zohar. A being of my intellect dares not make a broad assumptions, messenger. I know of your pathetic pedigree. It lightens my mood just thinking of it, actually. But you really are no match for one such as myself, one blessed with both supreme confidence and supreme power. Here, perhaps a little demonstration of my power will bend you to the way of reason. Behold! Too impressed to speak, messenger? Or too afraid? Perhaps both. I fully understand. It is a rare sight to witness a pro protege, protogen, gifted with the powers of both silhouette and mirage. But enough sh of the show and tell, little messenger. But time has come for us to part. I'm afraid you've worn out your welcome. Have a nice trip. See you next fall. The bug guy saved us. Hello again. If you'll let me, I can help you find your way in this confusing place. Yes, besides, I've got nothing to lose now. Hmm? Alrighty then. Well, well. Quite an intriguing development. Wouldn't you agree, Hal? I never expected a bug to show such resolve. Nothing surprises me, Zohar, and you overestimate his powers. Catch up to him and determine what the messenger is doing here. Area 1, complete. Oh, I gotta press something. By the way, you can call me Buck, yes? I'm very sorry for what I did. I had my orders, but they appear to be incorrect. You're no threat, hmm? You saved my life, Bug. Without your help, my mission would have failed. You have my gratitude. By the way, my given name is Shina Nira Shina? But please, just call me Shina. Shina? I don't know. You've got it, Shina. 
Yes, from what I heard, Hal say about your mission. You're headed for Edo? Hmm? I could use my powers to create a transport nexus, which you can use as a kind of shortcut, yes? It's one of the benefits of existing outside the system, yes? However, know that I can only guide you until we intersect Zohar's nexus, hmm? What do you know about Zohar? More specifically, why is he bent on destruction? Zohar is Hal's right hand man. He's the only one in our world with two attributes in his body, and he won't let you forget it. Yes? Two attributes? Just like me. I'm cute and kind and strong and smart and sweet and humble. So what's wrong with Zohar? Sheena, we've reached the Nexus. This world is called Requia? Yes. Its electric lights are powered entirely by Hal's enormous energy. Be careful. Mm. I don't think I can keep up these voices for the whole let's play. Let's not. Well, Morning. it's the end of our road here. Tune in for the next episode, part two, the Silhouette Mirage. If you like my views, you like, share, comment, don't forget, all feedback is welcome, subscribe really helps. See you later. And goodbye. Tune in.